Without a doubt, human beings need parents. We are not like reptiles or amphibians or insects that can grow up to maturity without a parent. Human beings need parents or substitute parents. A baby left on its own will not survive, unfortunately. Even in legends, uh, fiction like Tarzan, he has to be brought up by somebody. Mowgli was brought up by wolves, was it? Tarzan by the apes. But any human baby left alone will not survive. It needs parents who will clothe it, feed it, and care for it. Because a human baby doesn't even start walking until about two years old. It doesn't even have teeth. It needs to drink milk. Suffice to say from the biological example, we can see that humans need parents. Yet at the same time, most of us have parents who fall short of the mark. And as children, we, we get upset with our parents for not being perfect, for not being the perfect father or mother that we required them to be. Until one day we grow up and become adults ourselves. And we realize that they were as perfect as we are, or to look at it another way, as imperfect as we are. We are all stumbling through this to one degree or another. Some of us have more light, some of us have less light, but none of us has all light. So, we grow up as children needing parents. We grow up as children having imperfect parents. And then we grow up into adults and realize that our parents were imperfect because we are imperfect. Our parents and us are only human. What do we do then? So some adults go through the rest of their life raging against their past, raging against maybe a, an imperfect upbringing, raging against parents who were just doing at best the best that they could do. In any case, the past is past and nothing is going to change the past. If we have grown up and if we profess to be more mature, more enlightened, more educated, have greater opportunities than our parents, then we should have learned to be better parents than our parents were to us. And the obvious application of this is then, of course, that we will attempt to be better parents to our children than our parents were to us. And that is the way it should be. There should be progress from generation to generation. But another application of this is that we should therefore learn how to reparent ourselves. So the things that our parents could not, did not do for us, we should do for ourselves. Were you neglected, then now as an adult, cherish and value yourself. Were you not encouraged enough, now as an adult, encourage yourself. Did your parents not spend enough time with you? Now as an adult, spend the time with yourself. 
Of course, the trouble with this is that if we accept that we are all grown up now, then we have the responsibility and the ability to parent ourselves, to do for ourselves what our parents could not do for us, which means there is no one to blame anymore, which means we really do need to grow up. But there is no other way. When you learn about what it means to be an adult, when you learn about what it means to be a parent, you need, first of all, to apply this to yourselves, to reparent yourself in any areas that were lacking in your childhood. So you heal yourself, you grow, you mature, and of course, this then benefits your children, and it benefits the people around you, children and adults, grown-ups and the young. But then, even more importantly, it affects your grandchildren. You might just, like me, have a young child. You might not even be married yet and have no inclination of having children. But the way you treat yourself will affect your grandchildren. Because the way you treat yourself is the way you're going to treat your children. And the way you treat your children is the way that they are going to treat their children, your grandchildren. And so it goes on and on and on. So did you have a tough childhood? Did you have uh, a lacking in your upbringing? Were your parents not up to your standard? Take those experiences, take those dissatisfactions, those unhappiness, and turn them around in your own life. What was lacking in your parents' upbringing of you? Now, make up for it to yourself, first of all. Give yourself the love, the encouragement, the acceptance, the opportunities, and maybe even for some of us, the corrections and discipline that our parents did not give to us. Give it to yourself, first of all. Parent yourself. Reparent yourself. Love yourself. And this is going to spill over into your children and your grandchildren, not just biologically, but socially, in your career, spiritually. There are people who look up to you, and these are in one way or another your children. And then there are people who those that look up to you will be influencing, and those are in one way or another your grandchildren, and how you take care of yourself will affect your children and your grandchildren. So be good to yourself.